Hi and welcome to Penilla's Creative, I'm Penilla and in this video I'm going to show you how to knit wrist warmers in garter stitch. So this is how the wrist warmer will look when it's done and this is how the wrist warmer will look before we join the edges together. To knit these wrist warmers you will need a pair of needles in a size of 9mm, a yarn that fits for your needles, a needle with a large eye and a scissor. I used one ball of yarn to knit these wrist warmers and I casted on 12 stitches and ended up with a piece that measures 10 centimeters wide and then I just knitted it to it measured 20 centimeters long. And the wide part is the length of your wrist warmers and yeah, the 20 centimeters is the measure around my wrist. Like this. And as you can see, my wrist warmer is quite loose fitting so if you want it to be tighter you just knit it shorter. So now I'm going to show you two different ways to cast on and I used the cable cast on when I knitted these wrist warmers. Then I'm going to show you how to do the knit stitch uh, that's when knitted on both sides will end up being the garter stitch. And I'm going to show you how to cast off in two different ways and I used the regular cast off for these wrist warmers. And then I'm going to show you how to wave in the ends from your cast on and cast off. So now just let's start knitting our wrist warmer and when you have done all the steps and have a piece that looks something like this I'm just gonna show you the last step that is joining the edges together so our piece will transform into a wrist warmer. The first cast on I'm gonna show is the long tail cast on and for this cast on you have to figure out how much yarn you need to cast on all of your stitches. And to figure that out, we're going to take our yarn and wrap it around one of our needles as many times as stitches needed. So for example, say that we need 10 stitches, then we're going to wrap the yarn around our needle 10 times. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then we just can pull the yarn off and from here we can start casting on. We're going to put the yarn that goes to the yarn ball between our middle finger and our index finger, wrap it around our thumb and hold the yarn together with our ring finger and little finger. So like this. And when you cast on with the long tail cast on, you can either use both of your needles or just one of your needles. And I'm gonna use just one. If you use both of your needles, the cast on gonna be a bit looser than if you use one. But I'm just going to use one needle. And we're going to start with putting the needle behind the thread that goes between the thumb and the index finger. Pull the thread forward so you end up in front of this thread. And then pull your needle up through the loop at your thumb. And grab the upper yarn and bring that back through the thumb and pull. And as you can see we ended up with two stitches at the first cast on. And it's only the first time we're going to end up with two stitches because the next time we're not going to put our needle behind the thread between the thumb and index finger. Instead we're going to put it in front of that thread. So we go forward so we end up in front of this piece of yarn, up through the loop, grab this thread and back through the loop and pull. And as you see this time we just ended up with one new stitches. And I'm going to show you a few more times. Forward in front of this, up through the loop, grab and pull. Forward, up through the loop, grab and pull. The other cast on I'm going to show you is the cable cast on. So we start making a loop that we're going to put on one of our needles. So with the cable cast on, you can cast on as many stitches as you want. But often this cast on gets a bit tighter at the edge than the long tail cast on. So keep that in mind. Otherwise we just go through the first loop. Grab the yarn and bring that through the loop. Twist it and put it on our needle. Then we just do the same thing again. Go through the loop. Grab the yarn. Bring it back through the loop, twist it and put it on our needle. 
We're going through, grab, twist and put it on our needle. And I'm just gonna keep casting on till I have 10 stitches and then I'm gonna show you how to do the garter stitch. And now I'm going to show you how to do the garter stitch. And to make a garter stitch you only need to use the knit stitch. And the knit stitch is like you go through the first stitch, grab the yarn, pull it back through the first stitch and pull it off. Go through, grab and pull it off. Go through, grab, pull off. And this you do on both sides of your work. So I'm just gonna knit this side and show you that you do the exact same on the other side. And when you start knitting on the other side, remember to take your yarn under your needle because if you take the yarn over your needle, as you can see, it looks like you have two stitches here instead of one. And this is the most common reason why you accidentally add extra stitches when you're knitting. That you put your yarn over the stitch at the beginning and start knitting like there are two stitches. Like this. Pull that off and oops, there you have one more stitch. And yeah, that's the most common reason you're adding an extra stitch in every row. So remember, under your needle, then you can start knitting. And yeah, we just keep knitting, knit stitch, and our work gonna turn out a garter stitched piece. And I'm just gonna knit this row and then I'm gonna show you the two different uh, way to doing a cast off. So now I'm going to show you how to do a cast off and the first one is the most common cast off and you just keep doing knits. I'm going to knit over two knits and then I'm taking the first stitch and pulling it over the second stitch. And that's one cast off. I'm going to do it again. Knit over so I have two stitches. Take the first one, pull it over the second one and I have done another cast off. I'm going to show it one more time. Knitting over, so you have two stitches, pulling the first one over the second one. Then I'm going to show you a cast off that is a bit more stretchy or flexible. And we start with knitting over two stitches, then we're going to put them back to the other needle and knit it together to one stitch. I'm going to show you one more time. Knit over so you have two stitches. Put them back to the other stitch. Knit those together. And you have one stitch. And I'm going to keep knitting with this flexible cast off. And then I'm going to show you the difference of them. And when I just have one stitch left, I'm just going to pull it out like this. And yeah, I'm going to cut the end, but I'm not going to do it now. Uh, but otherwise, I would have cut the end and pulled the thread out. So here you can see the difference between the more common cast off, the regular cast off, and the stretchy cast off. This is more tight and firm, and this is much more flexible. I'm also going to show you how to wave in the ends from your yarn. And I also want to point out, if you have to change to a new yarn ball while you're knitting, do the change at the edge of your work. And change it by tying the new and the old yarn together. And when we're going to wave in the ends, uh, just untie the yarns from each other and uh, wave in them separately. And I'm going to show you here how to wave in the yarn in a quite nice way. I'm just gonna 
take my yarn and go down a row and then I'm gonna start following one of the stitches from when I'm knitted so I'm gonna go up from here and I'm gonna follow this one and as you can see it goes down through these two stitches and then I'm gonna turn and go up again through these two and down and I'm gonna follow this stitch for a while Here we'll do, and as you can see, you can't see where I have laid in the end of this yarn. So now I can cut this off. So when you're done with your piece, we're just gonna join the edges together, and we're gonna join them at the edges where we have cast it on and cast it off. So we'll put them together like this, take our needle with a piece of yarn and start joining the edges. And I will join the edges by going through the casted off stitches and the casted on stitches. So I will start with the first casted off stitches here and then I will go through to one of the casted on stitches, the first one. And I used the cable cast on, so if you use the long tail cast on your start will look different from mine. But you just go through the first cast it on stitch and then you then you just keep going through the rest of your cast it on stitches and your cast it off stitches so here I have my next cast it on go through it and then over to the second cast it off then we go through the third cast off and the third cast on and then I just keep joining the edges like this all the way over to the other side and when I've done that I'm just gonna wave in the ends from our yarn thread and I can do it the same way I did with the other ends I showed before and this is how it will look when you have joined the edges and waved in the ends now you're just gonna turn it inside out so you get the seam on the inside like this and yeah then you're done with your wrist warmer.